Hey, what's going on everybody? Red Ronald Music here, bringing you another video. Today I want to make a video about Sea of Thieves, but after playing a few days now, there are many threads and articles online about how Sea of Thieves is lining up to become the new No Man's Sky of 2018. Uh, obviously, there are some people who enjoy the game the way it is, and I can understand why, but others, including myself, believe there are a few major things that hold this game back from being great. First off, there's a lack of things to do. There's only really three types of missions you occasionally get in a battle. The skeleton islands are there but nothing really happens from them besides when there's that uh like that skull mission over it and there's not really an incentive to explore the game after maybe a few minutes like you just want to look around and then there's nothing that really happens other than finding barrels of like cannonballs wood or bananas or something sometimes you'll find a loose chest around but that's not a big deal the second thing which goes off the first is just mundane gameplay the game becomes really repetitive just after a few hours of playing all of the missions are basically the same thing just after a few runs gameplay is in fact so repetitive that i had to stop filming a let's play series just because it was becoming repetitive off of two episodes there are only really three types of missions, like I said, and it's just, there's the ones where you go digging for treasure, then there's ones where you go and fetch animals and crates or whatever, and then there's the skeleton-related missions, and that's about it. The third thing is that there's PvE and PvP problems with this game. It's really easy to get spawn-trapped, especially by a crew of four if you're a solo player. All people have to do to spawn trap somebody in this game is not sink the ship, and if they don't sink the ship, you're basically, they're just spawn camping you at that point. Eventually they'll run out of ammo, but I'm like I'm saying, if there's four of them and one of you, you have to seriously land all those shots perfectly too. It's just really, it's annoying. They should have considered something. I don't even know a suggestion I could say for that. I don't know how you could prevent that. Personally, I think there should be a uh, peaceful mode with the game or something like that. Almost like GTA, where you have like passive mode or something. That would be really cool to see, just for people that aren't trying to get into combat. And I know you might be like, oh, what the hell is this guy talking about? That's so dumb. I kind of agree, but I also want to be able to like enjoy the game for its like exploration and just relaxing like sailing experience rather than worrying about picking fights of people all the time. The game is terribly unbalanced for those who don't have a four man squad to play with. You basically get five bullets to take on four people. So you have to land four perfect headshots in decent range or you basically die. And the aiming in this game is strange to begin with. So that's another thing I could go on, but I'm not gonna bother talking about it. I think everybody realizes that. And that's just cause there's no like crosshair or anything, but I feel like it's intentional. And yeah, you can obviously match make for a team, but not everybody can do that, and not everybody wants to work with a team. Perhaps you have four pe or three people that you play with normally, and you just don't feel like working with some other people and dealing with all that, or you just want to like keep to yourself, listen to some music or something, and just sail around and not have to worry about game chat and people locking you in the brig for not talking or whatever. Or you could be like me filming a let's play, talking to your viewers instead of people in game chat or something and you don't feel like dealing with that the last thing as far as pve and pvp this is the pve part skeleton islands are way too difficult during those events that happen on them with the skull in the air i don't, I don't know what you would call that i feel like it has an actual name but i don't know. those events are insanely difficult for somebody who's by themselves because there's a new type of skeleton that doesn't appear until you shine a light on them and you can't really hold the lantern while killing at least two dozen skeletons that are rushing you at once and you don't even have the ammo to do that anyway Anyway, so it's pretty impossible without a squad unless you're some sort of ninja that can avoid everything even though you do have to kill all of them. I even tried the zombie method of just running circles and trying to get them all behind me but that's way too hard because they don't die. They take at least a couple hits to kill. Anyways this game really has potential to be something great and I was excited for it and I'm kind of disappointed to see how it's playing out but I honestly couldn't feel confident recommending this game to people at least at its current price point of $60. Fortunately I got the game for free with with a free trial of Xbox Game Pass, and I feel if this game is $30, it could maybe pass right now as it is, adding in DLC over time, because it is going to need it, and it's probably going to have it. But at $60, it really needs some tweaking and some free content updates pretty soon, otherwise I could see this game pulling a Division or No Man's Sky and fading out of the spotlight really quickly. And that's really a shame, just because it's a truly original game with a really positive vibe to suit. Hopefully we can see some change in the game soon, as I have good faith that Rare wants this game to be the best it can be and for everybody to enjoy it. I feel like Microsoft had some play in it trying to rush them to get it to release 
Xbox because there's like a shortage of Xbox exclusives at the moment. That wouldn't be the first time Microsoft has done that. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoyed this video, hit that like button below. If you agree with me or don't agree with me, let me know in the comments below. And also subscribe for uploads on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all next time. Peace.